Welcome back, Discovery Rangers. Glad that you're with us. Uh, we're going to be picking up and resuming our study of Second Kings. We are on Lesson 2. We're going to begin with our key point, God wants his people to care about others. And our key verse, religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. That is from James chapter 1, verse 27. We're going to pick up our story uh, again with Elijah. This time, Elijah is with a widow. The wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elijah, Your servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that he is revered to the Lord. But now his creditors is coming to take my two boys as his slaves. Elijah replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me. What do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a small jar of olive oil. Elisha said, Go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. Then go inside and shut the door behind you and your sons. Pour oil into all the jars, and as each is filled, put it to one side. She left him and shut the door behind her and her sons. They brought the jars to her, and she kept pouring. When all the jars were full, she said to her son, Bring me another one. But he replied, There is not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil and pay your debts. You and your sons can live on what is left. 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1-7 through seven. In Bible times, people were sold into slavery if they could not pay their debts. Their children could be sold too, and in those days, women usually were unable to get jobs. If a woman's husband died, she and her children faced being sold as slaves. In the ancient world, men gave little respect to women. A woman's husband or children were her source of support, and if they could not help her, then she might have to be a beggar in the street. Elijah's response was kind. He did not ignore the woman, and he did not tell the woman to solve the problem herself. Instead, Elijah asked, how can I help you? He was willing to get involved in someone else's problem in order to help her. God cares about women in society. He wants to help them succeed. The miracle that God worked for this woman let her become independent. She made enough money to support herself and her children. That was rare in the ancient world. In areas with lots of Christians, people treat women with more respect than at any other time. Freedom and respect for women is still rare in nations with few Christians. Guys, Christians should impact the world in a positive way. God is deeply concerned about how women are treated. God's men, you, should be concerned about that too. With God's help, we should help women succeed and be independent. That's what Elijah did. Now, we've got three questions to go over. What I'd like you to do is, after you've listened to the questions, write down your answers, email them back to me, let me know that you've watched the video, let me know that, you're, uh, that you've answered the questions. Question number one, why did Elijah help the woman? Question number two, why was it unusual for a woman to be independent in biblical times? Question number three, why are there places in the world where women are less free than men? Please email your questions back to me, and if you have any questions, let me know what they are. Uh, these are also good discussion points to have with your family. We're going to go ahead and close in prayer. Close your eyes and follow along with me. Dear God, thank you that you care about everyone's needs and want men and women both to succeed in life. Please help me do good and show respect for others, especially women. Amen. Hey guys, our challenge for this week is find somebody with a need. Last, Our last lesson, we talked about prayer, and we talked about identifying people's needs through prayer uh, and helping them and performing miracles. This week, the challenge is find a need and fill it. Find a need that you can go out and you can actually address or help or be a part of a solution. Get involved, whether it's a friend, whether it's a family, whether it's somebody in your community, find that need Find a way that you can be involved to help with that solution and be as creative as you need to be. When you find that answer, when you find that solution, when you find that need, please include that example in your email with the answers. And until then, we'll see you next week.